Hello all, in this video we will see how to generate uh, the bill of material from KCAT schematic. So, bill of material is nothing but uh, the list of components that are part of your design, right? So, um, this actually originates from each and every component. For example, in this uh, schematic as we see here, this is CS32V00 controller. So, you can see these are all the fields or the parameters of a particular component. You can see refdesk value, footprint, data sheet, and MPN. So, if you actually see the default parameters, like for example, we'll open the capacitor. If you see the default parameters, there is no MPN part here. Okay, so this is actually added by us such that. Uh, you can also add from here if you want. So you click uh, plus here and then uh, um, the row gets added and you can add your parameters as required and you can also delete if required. So to keep all the MPNs, all the manufacturing part numbers of components under a single column, we have added MPN as a parameter for the component. Okay. so. This is how you can modify the component parameters such that your bomb gets populated properly. Now, how to generate a bomb? So now we have a list of components, right? How to generate a bomb is go to tools and click on generate bomb. So here we have several options which are the default options <coughs> uh, in the keycap. So we wanted uh, group by value with footprint and that is how we can click generate okay so now when you click generate you can see uh, the, the python script in the background runs and it it generates a csv file which is a success okay so where does this get uh, populated it will get populated in the um, design folder so the design folder uh, let's go there. So this is the design folder and the in design folder we have this excel that is populated. Okay, so that, that is generated and you can see the fields. So we have several uh, um, columns, uh, the refdesk, the quantity, okay, and then the value, uh, CMP name is another parameter and we have footprint description and uh, dnp status whether it is dnp or populated okay so now if you see there is no mpn why there is no mpn because if we go back to the tool in the parameters so this uh, uh, python script ran based on the script that is uh, a default one like for example if you see here this is the the script that is run um, where it is present in C program files keycat so the default installation now if we go to that folder okay so this is the script that is run so let us try to open this when we open this particular <coughs> folder you can see this is the script and in the script if you scroll down you can see the quantities that are being uh, highlighted here okay ref is highlighted quantity is highlighted value comp name footprint so um, the actual uh, npn which we wanted is not listed here now we can add npn here okay and uh, save this so you see this is actually denied so you can add add as an admin and uh, open as an admin and then you we can actually overwrite okay so click on don't save right now so you can edit it as per your requirement and then when we go back and generate the bomb it, it populates the mpn as well so that is how uh, we do uh, the <coughs> bomb generation based on the background python script that is there so we cannot in case 
if you want to have your own bomb generator like for example rather than this script if you want to add your own script uh, with different parameters you can also create that script add it to um, whatever uh, folder you want you highlight it here and then uh, you can click on generate so that uh, the bomb file gets generated so if you want uh, uh, the bomb to be directly generated it's very simple but if you want uh, your bomb to be in a structured format with the parameters as per your requirement you need little bit of uh, uh, scripting to be done and also as we have mentioned there is uh, uh, the MPNs um, um, and specific fields need to be added to the components.